Hi guys, and welcome to another batch of your replays. Today we are featuring two RT games, but wait, wait, don't, don't, don't close the channel. Don't close the video just yet. We are going to be looking at some RT porn today, and by RT porn, I don't mean that softcore stuff. I don't mean overhead view, point and click stuff. I'm talking about the hardcore RT. When you actually have to put on your man pants, you gotta pull up those big boy pants and you've got to do the dirty work, just like all the other tanks on your team. When you've got to get up close and personal to the enemy and you've got to blow their faces off at point blank range. That's RT porn and that's the type of RT play I like. We are here with Go Berserk, and Go Berserk is, uh, this is the first time he's featured on the channel, so thank you very much for sending this one in to me. Uh, he is in his PZ SFL 4B. Now, this is a tier 4 German RT. I didn't actually, it didn't actually exist when I went up the German RT line. I reached the uh, GWE 100 back when it was a tier 7 RT. So, uh, this is one of the new RTs that were added, and uh, as a result, I've never played it. But it's got a turret. I was watching this replay and uh, it's got a turret. I don't know how far the turret turns or if it's a 360 turret, but it's got a turret. And it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking arty. But anyway, let's get back to this arty porn. Uh, we are here on uh, Westfield. It's a tier 5 game and Go Berserk is in his tier 4 arty. Now, being an arty replay, there is going to be some point and click. But, believe me, towards the end of this game, it gets insane. So, uh, Go Berserk has an absolutely humongous game, and I think it's safe to say that he pretty much carries the game for his team. Um, with no help from that VK3001H in the north of the map, who basically moves into a bush and then decides to go AFK for the entire game. Now, I am going to be playing a lot of this on times 2 because uh, I'm sure you guys don't really want to see the point and click action. But uh, Go Berserk is uh, focused on this KV-1 in the village. There's a couple of KV-1s in the village. KV-1 on 34 health and a beautiful shot by Go Berserk takes him out. Second KV-1 is reversing in against the building. He's just gone stealth but Go Berserk is on a reload and he fires blind. He takes out the second KV-1. So there are two tier 5 heavies gone. Uh, again, we're still in point and click mode but uh, he is focused on this T-34. Lands a shell just as the T-34 goes into stealth mode. Unfortunately, T-34 must have moved. That shot landed exactly where uh, Go Berserk was aiming, but he didn't seem to hit the tank. But uh, buildings are collapsing. Trees were being knocked down. Oh, in the meantime, Go Berserk has switched over to this PZ-1C on the 9-0 uh, lines. There's also a Covenanter moving in up here as well. And they're getting rather close. Um, the score is 5-6 at the moment, so uh, Go Berserk's team are losing. But looking at the size of this aim reticule, this RT definitely has a turret. I don't know how far the traverse arc is, but... Uh, the aim circle is definitely not getting that much bigger, even when he moves to follow these tanks. But basically, his team have now collapsed um, on the 9-0 lines. There are four enemy tanks that were last spotted over here. Uh, there's an FCM Pack 3640, or FCM 36 Pack 40, who's got amazing view range, who's going to be able to spot these tanks as they move down into Go Berserk's spawn. But uh, Go Berserk spots the Covenanter, still in RT mode. Predicts where the Covenanter is going to be and just misses him. But things are getting very, very dangerous now. Tanks moving down towards spawn. Three RT on the team. M41 takes out the Covenanter with a nice shot. So we're still pointing, clicking. And yeah, okay. So the T-34 must have moved again. But uh, things aren't looking quite so good. The uh, FCM 36 Pack 40 has been taken out, so there goes a lot of their view range. There is a Stug moving in as well. And unfortunately, the range of RT fire on this uh, tank is not good. Doesn't have the distance to be able to hit that PZ-4H. 
So Go Berserk is advancing maybe to see if he can get the uh, PZ-4H into uh, targeting range, but then he spots the T-34 moving in. And he's taking fire. Shots are coming in, so uh, Go Berserk does not have six cents on this tank. But he's using this building for cover, but this building is soft cover. And the M41 once again shoots a tank moving down into their spawn. But uh, in the meantime, Go Berserk has taken a hit from uh, Chiha, who's up on the ridge. So uh, Go Berserk is now in... Uh, oh, and now there's a PZ-3A. I told you things are going to hot up or heat up. So PZ-3A fires and misses. Stug takes out the Electo. And Go Berserk aims, uses this turret, takes out the PZ-3A with a nice shotgun to the face. And then moves behind cover because there are three enemy RT. So there are three RT on the enemy team. Someone is obviously putting in fire. Half the building has collapsed. And this is not a good position to be in. Go Berserk needs to get out of here. But uh, we know that the Chiha on the enemy team is up on the ridge. He's the one spotting for his arty. So Go Berserk is moving behind some more solid cover. And uh, things are still heating up. Things are still going to get a lot more interesting. So uh, we'll put it back up to uh, times two. And the M41 is asking Go Berserk to follow, so uh, Go Berserk is, but then the Chiha is spotted and the M41 misses. Arty just misses, so Go Berserk is going for a quick shot. He's gone back into Arty mode briefly. He's aiming as well as he can. Fires, puts a shot in. No idea how much damage he's done to that tier 3 tank. I would have thought he would have been able to uh, actually hit him or kill him, but uh, obviously not. So uh, the VK, as I say, up in the north of the map is AFK and has been since the game began. Uh, so basically, uh, these two RT are now using this hard cover to hide from the three enemy RT and this advancing Chia. So again, we're going to speed it up till something happens. But it's basically two versus four right now. And the M41 and Go Berserk are stuck here. They can't move. If they move, the Chiha is going to spot them. And there are still three enemy RT. Oh, these two RT players have really had to put on their uh, big boy pants. So... Couple of minutes have passed, and RT are still firing blind. So uh, the M41 and Go Berserk decide to back off. RT still has this building pre-aimed. So Go Berserk decides to move to some more hard cover. And shots are landing, so someone has spotted something. That Chiha has spotted them from stealth. Enemy RT are blowing stuff up. Oh, it's getting tense. Five minutes left of this game. And an M37 has now been spotted by that AFK VK. Go Berserk fires. Shot goes low. M41 fires. Doesn't kill the M37. M37 takes out the M41, and a fantastic shot by Go Berserk to take out the M37 for kill number four. Oh. So, uh, moving on. Oh, and now the Chiha has made an appearance, so we're dropping it back down to normal speed. So, two enemy RT and a Chiha versus Go Berserk and an AFK VK. So this Chiha, even though he's relatively inexperienced, is not stupid enough to come around this corner. He knows what's waiting for him if he decides to roll around the corner. So he's trying to get shots. This is a real Mexican standoff here. Alright, so the Chiha is trying to flank, but don't forget this Artie has a turret. And boom. Okay, there's kill number five. So, uh, <laughs> Go Berserk is uh, lolling in chat. 
best game so far, I would say so. Oh, and now the PZ, or the ST Panzer II has appeared. Go Berserk goes back into RT mode. And this guy just keeps rolling, but... Oh, he misses! Oh, he's missed, he's missed, he's missed. So Go Berserk is falling back, he's got an 18 and a half second reload. The, the ST PZ2 fires and misses, hits the wreck. And Go Berserk can't really move out of cover. But he takes him out, he stays in cover, stays safe from the last remaining enemy arty, takes out the uh, STBZ-2 for kill number 6, there's his top gun. And uh, the enemy M41 fires a shot in frustration at the back of uh, the building. Thankfully it doesn't do much splash damage, so uh, now it is uh, 2 versus 1, but as I say the VK is AFK, so really it's 1 versus 1. So we've speeded back up. There are only two minutes left in this game, less than two minutes, and it's turning into a draw. No idea where the enemy M41 is, so Go Berserk decides to go for it, make a move. Maybe, maybe he can find and spot the enemy RT. So he's advancing, he's in TD mode. Where could- oh, and he's just spotted the M41! The M41 was advancing towards Cap. So, uh, once again, Artie versus Artie. One minute- 30 seconds left in this game, the M41 fires and misses. And... wow. Woo! Kill number seven for Go Berserk. He carried that game like a boss. In a tank, I actually might actually look forward to having seen this replay. That was Artie for porn folks. That was when Artie has to put on their big boy pants and actually do the dirty work. Fantastic game, Go Berserk. Thank you very much for sending it in to me. And I hope you guys didn't mind the point and clicking too much. But we've got more of that in the second game. So Go Berserk picked up his Ace Tanker badge for that game, but he also picked up a, an award I have not seen before for Counter Battery Fire. In a battle, destroy all enemy SPGs, at least three with an SPG. So uh, that is the first time I have seen that award, so uh, really, really well done, Go Berserk. He also picked up Top Gun, but he did pick up seven kills, so a little bit more than Top Gun. He finished top on XP with 939, 922 damage, 7 kills. Uh, he fired 14 shots, 7 hits, 2 splash damages, and 7 penetrations. Uh, spotted 2. When does Artie ever spot vehicles? But Pro Berserk spotted 2. He damaged 7, destroyed 7, and did 77 assistance damage. He even managed to do 26 base defense points. Unfortunately, he wasn't playing with a premium account, but he still made a profit of nearly 13,000 credits, 939 XP on a times 3 event I'm happy to see, left him on 2,817. Well played Go Berserk, and once again, thanks for sending it in. So are you guys ready for another batch of RT porn? Because we are back with Saljin. Saljin's been featuring a lot on the channel recently, but uh, that is completely accidental. Basically what happens is every time one of you guys sends me a replay, it gets dumped into a replay folder. And every time I decide to make a batch of your replays, I look for a theme. So uh, basically, a uh, couple of examples recently, 9.2 was being released, what tanks were being nerfed, um, the Waffentrager E100 and the 183. So I decided, okay, I'll go into my replays folder, replays that have been submitted to me, and I had a quick glance down. There's the Waffentrager E100. Okay, let's get that one in there. And there's the 183. Let me get that one in there. So uh, that's the two tanks I wanted to cover covered. It turns out one of the replays was by Saljin. Another time I decided to do a batch of your replays and I figured, um, well, I've recently rebought two TDs. I've rebought the Jag Panther 2 and the uh, SU-152, so let's grab a replay from uh, each of those two tanks. And it turned out one of those replays happened to be Seljans as well. So when I was doing this batch of replays, I actually didn't realize that this was Seljan again until... I was actually recording, but I don't care because it's a great game, and if it's a great game, 
I'm going to include it on the channel anyway. But uh, here we go. We are uh, on steps. And it's a 62 percenter with Seljan in his Hummel. Uh, so he's a tier 6 arty in a tier 7 game. Pretty nice matchup. And uh, like always, it's going to start off with some basic point and click. But... It does heat up towards the end. If you watch the first replay, you pretty much know what's going to be happening. So uh, even though it is a 62 percenter, it really doesn't turn out that way. So again, we're going to be playing a lot of this on times two. And uh, Saljin's looking for shots. He's gone down into the typical arty corner. Or no, he isn't. Sorry, he's in the middle of the map. But uh, not many of his tanks. Look at all those tanks camping along the H line. No one has gone up the 9-0 line other than an A44. And there's only a T20 and a Type 52 on the 1-2 uh, line. So really, really bad distribution by Saljin's team. Saljin hasn't actually fired yet, but a KV-3 gets tracked. And Saljin gets a shot in for 342 damage. He's trying to support this flank, but the T50 or Type 58 goes down. And Seljan's not in a position to save that T20. Now there's an IS that's appeared. Seljan gets a nice shot in for 440 damage. But that flank has now collapsed. So uh, Seljan and uh, the GW Panther are relocating. Now that is smart. And you'll see how smart these two players are even more towards the end of the game. But uh, the enemy team are now capping. The A44, who went over there on the flank alone, is still fighting, but he's up against four enemy tanks. Finally, an M6 has gone up to support him. But he's been calling for help for this entire game, and yet Saljan's team are still camping midridge. So Saljan's moved into position, but... Uh, is relocated because he had to. There are enemy tanks rolling in along the uh, J and K lines. They were being capped. The A44 has finally gone down. T34 in cap. Sitting still. Saljan doesn't even wait to see if the shell hits. Takes the T34 out. Now there's a Cromwell capping, and again, this guy is sitting in one space. He's been spotted, he knows he's been spotted. His friend just got taken out, and yet he sits in one spot. And people wonder why Artie is overpowered. So uh, Saljan gets a beautiful blind kill on that Cromwell, and the cap is reset. Uh, misses the T-3485, but they're under major, major pressure. A lot of pressure both on the uh, left flank and on the right flank. So a Lux has flanked the AMX M445 and now it is two RT and an E25 versus uh, Hellcat, a Lux and three enemy RT. So things are really, really starting to heat up. And the Hellcat has just, or the Lux has just taken out the E25 from stealth. Now there's a Hellcat moving in. Now there's a Lux moving in. Seljin was pre-aimed, takes out the Lux with a beautiful shot, but he knows that's got him spotted. There are three RT on the enemy team. So Seljin retreats into the corner until he's dropped off radar, but... It's just he, him and a GW Panther left, and as I say, they've got to put on their big boy pants now. Hellcat's firing gold, but Seljin's almost reloaded. And takes him out. Now, why enemy arty hasn't fired, I am really, really surprised. No enemy arty came in there. And um, why the Hellcat didn't fire again? Hellcat must have been ammo racked. But uh, the GW Panther is now moving towards cap. Saljin's commander is down. Don't know if Saljin has realized that. He does have a first aid kit. But his tank is going to become much, much more unresponsive without his commander in place. So it is two RT versus three RT now. Going back up to times two. Until something happens. So the GW Panther is moving into cap. Saljan is waiting to support him.
And if the enemy want to stop and win this game, they need to go and approach Cap. But, uh, yep, Hummel has appeared. I've slowed it back down. GW Panther keep tries to get safe. Salgin fires and misses. And now the S-51 appears, but the GW Panther is able to take out the uh, Hummel. S-51 fires and misses. And the two of them are butting heads. So the GW Panther is in the way. Salgin can't really risk a shot. Is he going to? He is. Oh, that's so dangerous. But he hits the S-51, tracks him in place, doesn't kill the GW Panther. But it gives the GW Panther time to uh, fall back, reload, and take out the S-51. Whoa, such a dangerous shot. Such a dangerous, dangerous shot by Salgin. But, uh, wow, okay. GW Panther is still capping. Enemy RT has just gone for a blind shot into cap. Let's speed it back up till something happens. So, as I say, Salgin's commander, this that kind of annoys me. I'm a little bit OCD, so when I see something like that, it annoys me. Uh, first aid kit and a dead commander. Uh. So we're on times two. There are only just under five minutes of this game left. KV-1 on his team is telling Salgin to go for cap, but Salgin's waiting. He knows that the enemy RT, if he wants to win this game, has to come and get the GW Panther. So he's pre-aiming north of the cap circle. Salgin thinks that the uh, enemy RT is going to come from the north. And there he is, just under four minutes left. And he fires just as the AMX-13 AM moves forward. And, oh, so unfortunate. AMX-13 AM takes out the GW Panther. And now it is 1v1. Salgin's on four kills. It is RT v RT again. And it's brown trousers time. So the AMX is capping. We know where the AMX is. He's not going anywhere, and Salgin's going to be doing some flanking. So, oh, that's times four. So uh, again, we're on double speed here. And Salgin's been very, very clever. He's not going direct to cap. He is actually flanking. He is thinking like a proper tanker and not an RT player. So he's going to be coming in from a direction the AMX is not expecting. And we've slowed it back down to normal speed. So the AMX is spotted. Salgin... Oh, AMX is fired and missed. Salgin can take his time. But he doesn't. He twitches as he fires and misses. Oh, boy. And with a dead commander, his reload is at uh, almost 27 and a half seconds. AMX should have a much faster reload. So Salgin pulls back into cover. Waits to drop off radar. He is now reloaded. So what's he going to do? He's going to move forward again. Forty-five seconds of this game left. Enemy team don't aren't going to cap in time, but Salgin doesn't want to draw. He wants a win. He fires on the move, takes out the AMX 13 AM for kill number five, and secures the game. I love RT replays where RT have to get down and dirty. Uh, that was another ace tanker for Salgin, and uh, he picked up a high caliber and defender medal for that game. Uh, he came top on XP with 1,004 XP, 2,396 damage with 5 kills. He uh, fired 16, hit 7, penetrated 7, and did 3 splash damages. So he missed quite a few shots, but you can't complain when you get that much damage. He damaged 8, destroyed 5, and did a whole 117 base defense points. He uh, killed quite a few tanks in the enemy cap. Uh, he earned 23, almost 24,000 credits for that game. 
1,506 XP with a premium account and there was some sort of special so he got that doubled uh, leaving him on 3,012 XP with a premium account for that game and that was it for RT Porn. I hope you guys enjoyed it even if you don't like RT. I do hope you stayed till the end of this video because those were some exciting RT games. I'd like to thank Selgin and Go Berserk for sending those replays in and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.